Hey everybody, the Long Shot Signatures here. This is episode 21 of my 2023 TTM Returns. We are starting off this week strong with nine successes. A lot of variety in this one. Uh, so we're going to start off with some college coaches. Been getting a lot of those. Uh, first one is coming back from women's ice hockey head coach who signed two of two for me. And I have it up here. Uh, in 14 days, this is coming back from Matt DeRosier. He signed on the back of the photos. He is the head coach for uh, Clark Clarkson's uh, women's ice hockey team. And what's really cool about him is that he has won three Division I championships with the team so far. Uh, has had several Frozen Four appearances and the first championship that he won, uh, he was co-coaching with his wife. Um, I think, I don't, she stepped down after the season. I don't remember if she stayed along with the team as an assistant coach or if she retired from coaching altogether. But they had spent a few years building the program and uh, it culminated for her in a championship. And he has continued those winning ways. So that is the uh, first women's ice hockey college head, co head coach that I've added to the collection. Then we have a softball head coach. This is a two of two success, also in 14 days, coming in from Maryland coach Mark Montgomery. He has uh, been a longtime softball coach at various levels for uh, many different programs. I think Maryland is his sixth program, uh, so he's doing pretty well there. But uh, has definitely been around, uh, I think he started off in Division Three and has moved his way up uh, to a Big Ten program. Then we have a college basketball return. This is a 3 of 2 success in 13 days, coming back from the Rutgers men's basketball head coach, Steve Pickiel. So he signed both of the photos that I sent. And included a uh, short note, which he signed as well. Of course, uh, Rutgers, uh, again, ruined a uh, perfect start to the season for Purdue uh, this year. I think Purdue just had their second loss to IU in a close game. Um, so he's he's doing pretty well with the uh, Rutgers program. He's been there for a minute now. Um, always finds a way to win against some, uh, against some good teams. But... Appreciate adding him to my collection. Then we have a volleyball coach return. This is from one of the best uh, college volleyball coaches. And I am just doing research a moment ago. I'm shocked that she's not in the Hall of Fame already. Um, a lot of other coaches have been put in. And uh, the AVCA is one of those programs that will uh, put in active head coaches. So I'm really, really surprised she's not in yet. But this is a 2 of 2 success in 14 days from Florida Gators women's volleyball coach Mary Wise. I believe she is the first woman to uh, coach to a 1,000 wins in her career. I think she's over a 1,000 wins and just under 200 losses, if that tells you anything about the uh, success that she's had. The only thing that she's missing from her resume is a Division I championship. Uh, she's been runner-up two or three times and has made the final four a bunch of times um, so she's been really close and uh, one crazy thing about the women's volleyball uh, tournament is that it has never been won uh, by a team with a woman as their head coach so uh, she's still looking to be the first to do that um, I don't know what the ratio is of men to women coaching for the women's programs uh, and considering there's, I think, over 300 uh, schools that participate in women's volleyball in Division One, I, I, I'm still kind of shocked that not one uh, woman has won yet. But eventually, one day, that will change. And maybe it could be Mary Wise. But regardless, a super, super successful coach. Really cool to get this one back. And she should be in the Hall of Fame soon. Uh, absolutely deserved. We did get a Hall of Famer, though, uh, with this next return. This is a 2 of 2 success coming back from former LPGA golfer in 17 days. Got back Donna 
Capone. I think that's how it's pronounced. I think her full name is uh, Donna Capone Burns. Uh, she has since remarried, and that is uh, the extension to her last name that she added. Uh, as you can see, she was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 2001 after a stellar LPGA tour career. Um, I think she had 24 wins on the LPGA tour as well as four uh, major wins. So all of that added up to a Hall of Fame career. So that's another nice one to the golf collection. Then we got some NASCAR returns. Uh, first couple ones here I'll go over real quickly because I've got these guys uh, several times before. But adding them to my 94 Max and 94 Max Premier Plus sets. Got a 2 of 2 success in 7 days from Linwood of Wood Brothers Racing. I also got uh, 2 of 2 in 7 days from his brother, Eddie Wood. So they have been involved with the team uh, probably since they were really, really young. Maybe even as kids. Uh, but of course the team was started by um, Glenwood, the late Glenwood and Leonard Wood. And then uh, their kids and all of them grew up to start taking over the team as well. So they've uh, maintained their status as owners and active executives within the team. Uh, still looking to get their 100th win for the team uh, in NASCAR. Not sure when or if that'll happen, but hopefully it does at some point. So two cool NASCAR returns there, but this one is really, really awesome. Um, I don't recall seeing a recent return from this guy, but maybe someone else found the same address I did and just didn't post it, or maybe I just haven't been looking in the right places, but got back a two of two success in 123 days from three-time truck series champion Jack Sprague. So this is really, really awesome. Uh, he's a guy that I have been trying to get for a long time, and I never really did research for my own addresses unless it was like to an active sports team or something like that. Uh, so I never really thought uh, if someone else hasn't gotten them, then I'm not going to get them. Um, it hasn't been until recent years that I've done my own research and uh, found an address, took a shot at it. And after about four months, finally able to add him to the collection. Uh, one of the most successful truck series drivers, of course, he was there uh, from the start uh, when the series started in 95, I think it was. And uh, just a really, really strong era of truck series racers. I'd like to see that come back. It does kind of stink that there aren't a ton of... Uh, there, there's quite a few full-time drivers, but it's either uh, people that won't be there in two or three years or guys who have been demoted, essentially. Um, it seems like there's very few like truck series regulars that stick around. And those who do, sometimes they're competitive, sometimes they're not. Uh, but either way, um, uh, I loved watching the truck series growing up. I didn't see his era too much, probably, probably a few races here and there uh, towards the end of that first truck series era there. But um, still really, really cool. And uh, three-time NASCAR champion, you got to be happy with that. Um, I have almost all of the uh, truck series champions. I think there's one, one, two, or three drivers that I'm missing, and I'll have all of them. So the chase continues. And lastly, we have a football return. This one took about four months. But this is a three of three success coming back from former NFL quarterback Tommy Maddox. So he's another guy that I've been wanting to add to the collection for a long time. Um, I realized he was in my 92 upper deck set with that rookie force. So I definitely had to send out to him. I did look through some old cards I had uh, from the early 2000s. Of course, you can't forget about his time with the Steelers. Uh, I believe he was an XFL quarterback, too, if I remember correctly. Um, revitalized his career, won the 2002 AP Comeback Player of the Year. I think he won a Super Bowl ring with the Steelers later in his career um, as a backup. But a really, really nice signature. And again, he's someone that I've been wanting to write to for a long time. I just couldn't ever find the cards. And when I did, I felt like he wasn't signing at that time. But uh, everything worked out and finally added him to the collection. So let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys watching. Helps me out a lot. 
best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.